and that's why he's the best. Pound for pound, the best fighter on the planet and the Ring Magazine champion. Yes! Welcome back, fight fans. Today, we're diving deep into the aftermath of the electrifying clash between pound for pound King Terence Crawford and the rising star Israel Madrimov. Terence Crawford once again proved that he's a force to be reckoned with in the ring. His performance was nothing less than a masterclass. But you gotta give credit to Madrimov for putting up a great fight against the champ. Everyone was impressed by Madrimov's heart. He kept coming forward, throwing punches, but Crawford's defense was impenetrable. It's hard to see anyone beating Crawford at this point. This fight has broken the internet, and now the whole world is talking about it. We've gathered some of the biggest names in boxing to share their insights and reactions to this epic showdown. Let's get right into it. This fight was packed with action from the first bell. Round one was a taste of what was to come. Crawford looked sharp, but Madrimov was throwing some heavy leather. The pros are already buzzing about this one. Crawford's speed is insane. He's a blur, man. Even Mike Tyson is saying he's never seen anything like it. Yep, the heavyweight legend. Mike Tyson was catching the action live from ringside. Now we know Crawford and Tyson go back a long way. Tyson came out to support Bud, and let's just say he liked what he saw. Mike Tyson gave his statement. He believes there's no stopping Crawford, and after that masterclass of a performance by Bud, you can't blame Tyson. I am, I say it's 50 /50. You don't think it's 50-50? 60-40, but you don't tell which one? You think Crawford can stop him? Floyd Money Mayweather dropped his initial thoughts on X, and it's not something you can miss out on. Terence Crawford earned Floyd's respect with this one for sure. Floyd stated, Man, Crawford is on another level. Madrimov came to fight, but Crawford was just too sharp, too precise. That body shot in the seventh round? Unbelievable. It was like he knew exactly where to hurt Madrimov. Floyd's props didn't end there. He even jumped on a video call with Terence Crawford right after the fight with Israel, giving him mad respect and major shout-outs. Thanks, Floyd! And you know, I always... Mm -hmm. that was that. Hey, you see me wink at you. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled one of your boobs. <laughs> I think the camera. I see the chair. No, no, no. Yeah, I think the Floyd Mayweather always hits Bud up after his win to give him the respect that he deserves. But you know, after the fight, after all the Terrence Crawford fights, I always text him or call him and say congratulations. While most boxers were hyping up Terence Crawford's recent win, Eddie Hearn had a slightly different take. He watched the fight till the final bell, then went backstage and dropped a bombshell. He said, Crawford can't beat Canelo. That's it. No sugarcoating, just straight facts from Hearn's perspective. How is Crawford going to be able to bridge this weight gap? Well, I don't think he Canelo. can, in all honesty. I mean, yeah. he might not be able to bridge it on Saturday. Yeah. So oh, one weight si class. 60, yeah, but you're coming up from 35, mm. 35, 40, 47, 54. Sooner or later, it's one too many. Mm. And 68 is definitely too many. But Crawford's brilliant. Like he's a, he's a genius. He's a generational great. So maybe he can find a way to do it. But I feel he'd be, he'd be hugely outsized against Canelo. Canelo Alvarez, Alvarez. Yeah. But you have to move your, use your movement if you're Terence Crawford in that fight. The last thing you want to do is stand and trade. <laughs> he'd be moving a lot in that fight, trust me. I'm not saying he'd be running, yeah. but he would be moving a lot. Mm. Of course, that's the way to beat him. Yeah. You know. It's wild how Hearn is out here saying Crawford doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of beating Canelo, while Canelo is busy trying to dodge Terence Crawford. Talk about mixed signals. Don't believe me? Take a good look at this. I can't, I can't go down anymore. But uh, you know, like he say, you know, when they ask him for the Germanta fight, they don't want to get credit for that fight. It's the same for me. 
I don't I don't need to take that fight because then everybody's gonna say this too small, it's too small, it's too small, and then you know. He, uh, he need to enjoy his fight. Okay. He deserves it. He deserves it. I I like Spence, but uh, you know I like Spence and all the respect for him and everything. But I knew, I, I knew. I think is uh, the 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 type of type of fight uh, Terrence Crawford is is fighter is 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 is, is different. Uh, when 68, but uh, like I say, like he say, uh, nobody's gonna give me credit for right, that. Thank you very much. But, Speaking of Canelo. He congratulated Terence on his win, showing the sportsmanship between two guys who are at the top of their game. It's always cool to see mutual respect between legends in the ring. Oscar De La Hoya also chimed in on how the fight went down. He was there, catching all the action live from the comfort of his own house. And get this, mid-fight, while watching Crawford take things to a whole other level, he had some pretty interesting things to say. Check it out. I think we're witnessing one of the greatest fighters of all time in Crawford. He's a master of every aspect of the game. His footwork, his punching power, his IQ, it's all world class. And that's why he's the best. Pound for pound, the best fighter on the planet and the Ring Magazine champion. Yes! A legend in the game, Manny Pacquiao also gave his honest thoughts on the fight. After watching Terence dominate round after round, Manny's got Bud as his number one pound for pound. I didn't expect that uh, the fight is will be like that, but I thought it uh, will finish 12 rounds. But uh, Crawford, Crawford, is he, he, he did a good, good job. Is Crawford Manny pound Terrence for pound number one? Pound for pound number one. I think so. I think so. How do we Pretty much. Uh, I don't think. Uh, Did you feel uh, like they need a rematch, Manny, after what you saw tonight? I don't know. I don't know if there's a rematch. That's all we gotta go. It's kind of a uh, one-sided yes, fight. None of Does this fight make Terence Crawford an all-time great in your eyes? Well, he's still in his career, so uh, he's right in his career. So we'll see. We'll see the, the journey of his life. Crawford's speed and power combination was on full display. This fight was a statement from Crawford. He's not just the best at 140 pounds. He's proving he can dominate at 147 as well. It's going to be interesting to see who steps up to challenge him next. So, who's next for Crawford? The welterweight division is stacked with talent. Could it be Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao, or someone else entirely? One fan stated, a Crawford-Spence rematch at the right weight would be the biggest in boxing right now. It's a clash of styles that would be explosive. I don't know about that one since there have been rumors flying that Spence is hanging up the gloves for good. Another fan stated, Pacquiao is a legend, but I don't think he can beat Crawford at this stage of his career. Now this would be an interesting one to watch since Bud has expressed his desire to get into the ring with Manny. So the chances of this fight seeing the light of day aren't as low as you think. Another fan mentioned, I'd love to see Crawford move up to 154 pounds and challenge Canelo Alvarez. That would be a dream fight. This fan isn't wrong. Crawford versus Canelo is the dream fight. But don't get your hopes up because that fight is never happening. The weight difference is too much and Canelo has zero interest in fighting Bud. Maybe Canelo doesn't want the smoke and honestly, I can't blame him. Bud went absolutely wild in this fight, and he's not scared to fight Canelo despite the considerable weight difference. I think, I think you know, uh, business talk. You know, with the right uh, business come across the table, you know, uh, it happens. I just be talking, man. Canelo a big dude, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I believe in my abilities. He's not, he's a he's a heavy dude, but he's not a big guy. Like, he's 5'8", I'm 5'8", you know what I mean? My, my, my arm's longer than his, you know? Uh, so that fight, that fight would be, it'd be good. But hey, it's going to be a minute before we see Bud back in the ring he just came off a huge victory, 
so let the guy enjoy a well-deserved vacation. Peep this reaction from the Paul brothers who were in utter shock with Crawford's skills in the ring. Oh my God. Now the pressure is off Bud, and he's out here celebrating. As he should, we all saw the hard work he put in, and now it's time to reap all the benefits. Y'all, hey, Bud. now with my pound for pound number one. Let's get it. Two Let's time it. undisputed yeah. champ. Two, two times. One, two time, two, two times. My God. All in all, Crawford proved why he's considered one of the best pound for pound boxers in the world. Madrimov showed heart and skill, but Crawford's experience and precision were too much. This fight was a testament to the high level of boxing, and it's exciting to see what the future holds for both fighters. The fans are excited, and so am I. This is a golden era for boxing, and Crawford is at the center of it all. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.